Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock any jailbroken iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, or iPhone 3GS on basically any firmware. But again, it does need to be jailbroken, so say you have an iPhone 4S like I have right here, it does have to be on iOS 5.0.1, because as of right now, the iPhone 4S has only had one jailbreak, and that is the jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1. So if your iPhone is not jailbroken, then just be sure to go to the post that I have down below in the more info it has written instructions as well as links to my jailbreak tutorials and once you have jailbroken you can come back to this tutorial and proceed now I have my iPhone 4s right here and I'm going to do a couple of different things to prove to you guys that this is indeed an iPhone 4s and this is the unit that I will be using for the tutorial now the first thing is to show you guys where the band breaks are now the iPhone 4s does have a band break on the top and on the bottom on both sides here whereas the iPhone 4 does not the iPhone 4 simply has a band break on the top and two at the bottom here. And I have Siri. Hello Siri. And when you go inside of it, settings, general, about, for the capacity, it does say 57.4 gigabytes. So this is a 64 gigabyte model iPhone and they have never made a 64 gigabyte iPhone 4. So this is indeed an iPhone 4S and you will notice that at the bottom there for the version, it does say it's on iOS 5.0.1. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just get into the tutorial of this. So you will need Cydia, and I just opened it up right now. And what you have to do is go to the Manage tab at the bottom, go to Sources, Edit, Add, and you're going to add this source right here. It's just repo.bingner.com. And for those of you that are wondering why I'm doing a tutorial on this again, it's because the utility was updated from this source and it's now easier to actually unlock your iPhone and it will solve a lot of the issues that some of you guys have been running into with the older method. So what you need to do is just go to Sam and then hit install and confirm that installation. Now I already have it installed and it's on my home screen and you can access Sam Prefs either via the application that it places on your springboard or through the settings app. I'm just going to go inside of the application. So the first thing you need to make sure of is that you have your official SIM card in it. So the one that you know works and the one that you use to actually activate it initially. So I have my AT&T SIM card in right now and you will notice that I do have service and I have coverage right now as well. So that's what we want. All right, now the first step is to go inside of more information and once here, tap spoof real SIM to SAM. A notification should come up, just okay that. And then we can go back to the main SAM screen here. Now what you need to do is plug your iPhone into your computer via your USB cable and open iTunes. Now iTunes should come up and everything should be fine and you should see your device over there in the left sidebar. Now what you need to do is close out of iTunes, take something to eject your SIM card with. I'm just going to use the SIM ejector tool. A paper clip will also work fine and eject your SIM card. And now we need to put in the one that we intend to use. So I just have a regular T-Mobile prepaid micro SIM card right here that I'm going to put inside of my iPhone and this is the SIM SIM card we're going to unlock it for. So once you have it inside of the SIM tray, just go ahead and insert it into your iPhone. All right, now I should get a notification here. As you can see, I just got a voicemail notification. We're not done yet. We won't have service. That's just because I am using a prepaid SIM card. For some reason, that just pops up every time. And now what you need to do is open iTunes again. And now it should just do the same exact thing as before. You should just have your device over here, so the iPhone, and you should be able to go to the screen and it should work fine. All right, now what we need to do is close out of iTunes. And once you've closed out of it, go to the method right here, and we need to change this to auto detect. Now, once it's set to auto detect, you can go back. And then right here where it says enabled, just go ahead and toggle that so that Sam is disabled. And then what we can do is just go to our home screen here, as you can see, we're starting to get bars right now. We're not quite done. We need to open up iTunes again. All right, as you can see, it says that it failed to activate my iPhone. Any error message that you get right here is fine. Just go ahead and close out of iTunes and reopen iTunes. 
And as you can see, now it just goes to the standard device screen here again, and my iPhone is now unlocked. I do have service on T-Mobile. So now what I'm going to do is open up my phone app right here, and I'm just going to prove to you guys that I am on T-Mobile by going to voicemail here. All right, and it is safe to close out of iTunes right now. So one other way that I'm going to prove that I am on T-Mobile's network is by dialing 611 or support. All right, as you can see, it did say T-Mobile. So I am running on T-Mobile's network and I have a pretty good signal strength right here. It actually just dropped off as soon as I said that, but now it just came back up. So I have my iPhone 4S here unlocked with T-Mobile. Again, this will work with any jailbroken iPhone on any firmware that you can install SAM with and with any baseband. So just be sure to rate it up if you liked it and if it helped you out. Also, don't forget to check out the post that I have down below in the more info for full written instructions and leave any comments you have down below in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.